Okay, Birmingham GTRC is here showing you my Lockton. And uh, yeah, I did previously upgrade it as you've seen from some of my videos, but I had a problem with the motor, which was this one. And basically, it didn't have no um when you try to drive off the line, it just carved judder. If you pushed it, it would start driving. But then it just if it slowed down too much it just come to a stop and judder so yeah that motor's knackered it was running with a 25 amp maybe the esc wasn't powerful enough because i ordered exactly the same motor again which comes with an esc and it came with a 35 amp so i'm assuming maybe it could be the esc i don't know not 100 percent sure but yeah i've um just wired up my new motor and new ESC and man this thing uh, as you, oh just pointing that out you can see that on there yep yeah, completely cracked the inside wheel the whole wheel came off and left cracked the, the central of the wheel out that inside still has the hexagon style shape for to sit in properly that's just basically to stop the wheel coming off again front wheels don't do anything anyway so it does the job it's not causing any problems and it's not wobbling like crazy but anyway, the uh, purpose of this video is just to show you uh, now it's actually running perfectly fine with my new motor in there. As you can see, it's at A959 B pinion, which is, I think, is it 27 or 17 or whatever it is? I can't remember. Too many different pinions, sizes. You guys know what it is though anyway. It's a big pinion. And yeah, so... Um, man it makes a difference i haven't been able to give it full throw just took it out for its first run i'm getting a bit of power steer steering to the right when i'm putting the power on it seems to want to go right so i'm thinking about actually locking the, the differentials on this i'm going to look into doing that so both wheels spin at the same time and then it doesn't want to steer it the tires are no good so it just wheel spins like crazy it won't wheelie it just wheel spins when i put some new wheels on there this thing will wheel like crazy I'm, I'm guessing because it's quite uh nippy so um it's all actually fired up at the moment so if i give you a little just, oh. <laughs> hey you see look he wants to go already i'm going to give you a little press of my car uh i think i should just turn it upside down for the purpose of this video being one-handed okay and uh as you can see the slightest touch is worth, I'll show you in shot. Can you see that? Barely touching the gas pedal. And that is barely giving full throttle. So yeah. I'm not going to show you full throttle. I'll show you that when I put the GPS on there. As you can see, I've got it strapped on the back of my A959 at the moment. So uh, when I put my GPS on here, I'll strap that in. And I'll take it to my little spot. And I'll be doing a speed run with my A959B and this Lockton. And as you can see, it's ready to go. Sounds like a beast. As you can see, it's meshed lovely. Nice smooth roll, you know, gears are not tight and they're not too loose, you know. So, yeah, that's my Lockton steering can do with a sharper, uh, powerful servo, but yeah, yeah, so you can hear it's ready to go, ready to go, definitely. I'll give you a running video. Just a short run, just uh, out in my little grove and uh, give it a little look at what it looks like. Because the floor surface is quite loose and these tyres are really crap for grip. Yeah, it's uh, wheel spinning all over the place. Uh, I think I'll WD-40 them overnight and I'll take it to my spot and I'll give you a running video. And let you guys see uh, this Lockton do its thing, man. I reckon it's going to be fast, very, very fast. It's not a one tenth in there, but yeah, it's definitely going to be fast. And the fact that I've kept it looking as original as possible, it doesn't look too basically um, 
destroyed body work wise you know fitting the motoring and everything it still looks tidy you know and apart from having the battery strapped on the top my EC and receiver on the inside yeah it's um, running really well see my aerial there uh, all my wires are really going to get hot around the outside as well so you know hopefully the air will keep it cool I've got my cable tie cable strapping the battery to the actual lid so when I want to charge it I just literally unclip the wires take the whole lid off with the battery cable tied to it and just stick it on the charger or bring the charger right in close and charge it on the car it's not a problem really uh, yeah so this is my A959B and my Lockton ready to hit the road and give you guys a high speed run Birmingham GT RCs